What's up YouTube? Mike from Mass here, Mass Aquariums, and in tonight's video I'm going to show you how to install the Aqua FX booster pump to boost your pressure coming out of your tap to make RODI water. Now this pump was donated by Aqua FX, they're sponsoring this pump for me. My tap water pressure is 40 to 45 coming out and that's just not efficient enough to make quality RODI water and it's not good for your filters. So, stay tuned. So, Aqua FX has made this pump really, really simple to install. Um, basically, all you're going to need is a sharp pair of scissors, kitchen shears, um, an RODI line tube cutter, or razor blade, and you're good to go. This pump is very, very simple to operate. Um, as you can see, the arrows mark the flow. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut your water that's coming from the tap, your line that comes from the tap, and they make these nice quick connects here, just like it's on your system. You're going to cut the line coming out of your tap, and you're going to insert the water that goes in here, and then it's going to come out here into your system. This piece right here, super easy. You're going to connect your water, your good water, coming out of your IO, RODI system into this. Now this is uh, two-way. It can go either way. You can connect it here, here. It doesn't matter. Um, it's going to be very, very simple. I'm going to make this super easy for you guys. And uh, yeah, it's going to be quick. Okay, guys. So my RODI unit is uh, set up over here. As you guys know, my new house, new fish room, I got um, my good water here, I got my wastewater going here. Now, quick overview of, uh, this is a four stage RODI system. Your tap, your water from your house, I have it hooked up right here. This is the black line. It comes into your system. It runs through all your filters, and now this yellow right here is the waste line. It's going to go into this waste bucket right here. The blue line comes out your clean water all the way into this bucket. Now this system, this booster pump, is going to boost my pressure, I'm hoping, to about 80. Right now I'm at uh, 40 from the tap running. So, super simple. This black line, which is my water coming from my tap, I'm going to cut. I'm going to put it in following the direction of water in this one through to this one it's going to run boost my water then i'm going to take this and i'm going to connect it to my good water outline and i should be good to go and my pressure should definitely increase with this pump let's uh get this all taken care of and i'll show you how it works all right guys this is how simple this pump is going to be to install. I mean, it's literally, you got some sharp kitchen scissors, shears, uh, RO tubing cutter, you can buy those, uh, a razor blade. What you want to do is you're going to want to cut the line as straight as possible. So it's going to click into the quick connect and quick disconnect. Very simple. Now, I am going to cut my tubing that comes from my tap right in half and I'm gonna quick connect it to the pump and then I'm gonna cut my good RO right in here coming out, plug it in and we're gonna see some pressure increase. It's that simple. Step one, done. Now this looks good about right here. So I'm gonna cut this line right in half, as straight as you can possibly get it. I'm gonna connect this right into the quick connect. Nice tight fitting, nice tight fitting. Nice tight fitting. That is literally it. It is completely installed and all I need to do is plug it in 
and we'll see uh, how the pressure goes up. So folks, we have it all plugged in and you can, as you can tell, like, I don't even know if you can hear it. Super, super, super quiet pump. Um, look at the pressure. It has gone from 40 to about 110. Now that is a huge jump. That's about 70, a little over 70 PSI. And that's not where we want this pump to be at. We want to be safely around 80 PSI to efficiently run your RODI and not have any type of uh, malfunction on your, your unit or your hoses or anything. So super, super easy fix with this pump. See the middle of this pump? It has a Allen wrench fixture. And all you're gonna do is simple, simple, stick your Allen wrench right in the middle of the pump and you're just gonna slowly dial it, dial it, dial it, dial it down. And what that's gonna do is gonna reduce your pressure to around 80 PSI, right where uh, you need it to be. And that that's really all there is to this pump. It's very, very simple. Uh, tap water in, goes right through the quick connect to your RO, and your clean water comes out. Quick connect in, boom, boom right to your buckets, whatever you like to do. Um, I have my waistline going into a giant brute bucket with on wheels and when it gets to about 75% full, I just wheel it right out my basement door and dump it in the grass. You can save it for whatever you want. Water your flowers, water your plants, water your garden. It's good for all that. Um, and then for my clean RO, I just pump it into buckets because I think it stores better than mixing giant, you know, I don't want to mix 50 gallons of salt at a time. I want to mix them all in five gallons and use them as I need to. Uh, what I also did install is this uh, flush, this membrane flush unit. Very easy to install. It just clips just with the disconnect. And what this is going to do is uh, when you're done mixing your water, uh, you are going to flip this switch over. What that's going to do is block the water coming through your units and it's going to flush your membrane out. All that sediment is going to come out and you want to just run that for like two or three minutes and flush out that membrane. It's going to make it last longer. It's good for your filters. Uh, it's very inexpensive, uh, real cheap, and it's good to go. So. Folks, Mike from Mass here, Mass Aquariums. This is your uh, Aqua FX booster pump setup. Super easy, super quick. Go get yourself one if you have low PSI, and uh, it's very worth the price. I'm going to put a link down below on to where you can get it. I'm also going to put a link down for your My Aquarium box. I know you guys love to hear me say that. Go get the latest and greatest in Aquarium box subscription. The one and only Aquarium box subscription on the market. Hit that link below. Get yourself a quarter Christmas every month, folks. This is Mike from Mass. I'm out.